Well, we've come out to the 1200 metre start here at Royal Ramwick, where the eyes of the world will be focused on Saturday in Sydney for the running of the world's richest race on turf, the $15 million Tab Everest. It's a cracking lineup again. A huge day of racing, 10 races here at Royal Ramwick. There are some last minute tickets available, but you wouldn't want to wait for too much longer. Theraces.com.au to lock in your spot to see this momentous occasion. We can't wait to host as many people as we can get in here under COVID safety rules. But of course, there are just some tickets left. So make sure that you don't miss out if you really are keen to come. And if not, of course, you can watch on Channel 7, on Sky Racing or on all those digital platforms. But the races.com.au for those last minute tickets. We're going to go to Michael Wood now here over at the 1200 meter shoot to give us an update on the track ahead of the big one on Saturday. Here in the 1200 metre shoot from where the Everest will start on Saturday and we're just in our final preparations. We'll give the track its final mow today uh, and rails back up after we've irrigated last night with four millimetres. Track's currently a good four. We've had 28 millimetres of irrigation for the week and just a 0.8 millimetres of rainfall for the week. The upcoming forecast is for relatively fine conditions. It's going to be warm today around 28 degrees. Uh, we're very happy with the amount of moisture in the track that's going to get us through today and don't anticipate having to irrigate again. So um, with the forecast, partly cloudy day there tomorrow with a slight chance of about a millimetre of rain uh, before race day. So if we get that, it, it won't have an effect on the track. Uh, I anticipate we'll be on a good fall there for Saturday uh, with a nice amount of moisture that every horse will have their chance. The rail's gone back into the true from the six metre position. Uh, there is a little bit of marking there, you know, you, you obviously can't get away from, from racing there the last two weeks. So a little bit of marking in the straight from the three and six metres, but the inside pad uh, is pristine ground. So really looking forward to Everest Day. Uh, a lot of planning's gone into it um, and it should be a great day and a great race.